Good morning, everybody. It's your friend and brother Derek Day, and today is Wisdom Wednesday, where we take what we've learned, the, uh, the information, the knowledge, and we apply it properly that it becomes wisdom in our lives. And, and, and wisdom is the principal thing. I mean, it's listen, we have to understand how to take what we know and how to apply it properly so that it begins to bear fruit in our lives, and not only bear fruit in our lives, but bear fruit in the lives of others. So today I want to talk about defeating defeat because listen, in every sport, every sporting event, there are, there are victors and there are losers. And here's the thing is that defeat is not the end of things. I tell my sons all the time that sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. I don't give them losing as an option because losing is not is it's not what we're created to do we're created to be victorious the Bible tells us that we are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us so if that's the case then that means that that defeat is not our paradigm defeat is not our mode of operation it's not our standard operating procedure so we have to learn how to defeat defeat and how do you defeat Defeat, how do you conquer <laughs> defeat? It's simple, in the mind. It's very simple. And it's this, that you have to basically dig down into yourself and determine, say to yourself, that even though this setback came, that a comeback is coming. That even though I may have been knocked down, that my come up is gonna be greater. When we realize that defeat is not final, well, it's only final if you allow it to be. I, I think about uh, James Buster Douglas when he fought Mike Tyson in Tokyo, Japan, uh, was little, probably close to 20 years ago. And when, when, when Mike fought Buster in, in Tokyo, uh, Buster put on a boxing clinic. He beat Mike Tyson nine ways to Sunday. And then late in the fight, Mike Tyson found one of his famous haymakers and he knocked Buster down. Now here's the thing about Buster Douglas is that his, uh, his mother's, uh, or the mother of his child was deathly ill and his mother had just had a heart attack. So both of these women, the two women, chief women in his life were in the hospital and he had just cut ties with his dad as his trainer so here's a guy he's he's fighting a fight and he has nothing to lose but he's putting on a clinic and then all of a sudden he gets hit with a haymaker and all of the work that he did seemed to be for nothing buster fell down and he slammed his fist into the canvas because he was upset that he let this happen and he made a decision at that point that he was not going to stay down now if you know anything about boxing that when Mike Tyson hit you man that was a good occasion to stay on the canvas but he got up and he not only won but he was the first person to knock Mike Tyson down and knock him out do you hear me in other words Buster Douglas determined that his that this setback was not final. Failure was not final. And and he got up and he fought and won. So you have to get it in your mind that defeat is defeats come. Listen, watch this. The New England Patriots which may be the greatest team that's ever existed in football history. They lost the Super Bowl this year to the Philadelphia Eagles. Hey, for all my Eagles fans out there, congrats. Anyway, <laughs> the, the Patriots lost. Now, do you think that that's going to be the end of the Patriots? Do you think that they're just going to quit playing football? Do you think Bill Belichick is going to retire? Tom Brady is going to retire? No, these guys are going to come back, and they're and they're and they're going to they're going to play again, and they may very well win again because, me personally, I believe that Bill Belichick is the greatest coach in the history of the NFL. But that's that's just me. But the point is, you have to decide that defeat is not your end state that victory is your end state. So if victory is your end state, then that means that whatever it is that has dropped you, whatever it is that has set you back, whatever it is that has tripped you up, that you are going to get up, dust yourself off, 
put your dukes back up and get back into the fight. This is what, <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you something. This, this is something that changed my life and I believe that it has really, uh, it, it has changed the thinking or it's, or it's recast the paradigm for my kids because I don't allow them to lose. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. That is the attitude we have to take. I pray that that blesses you. In other words, don't, listen, don't let your setbacks define you. Don't let your defeats define you. You are created to win. You are victorious. You are more than a conqueror. You can do it. And that is not only wisdom, but that is motivation. And I pray that that blesses you. I'm Derek Day. God loves you. So do I. Have a fantastic rest of the day.